Hey guys, I'm Arno. And I'm Linnea. Hi. And this is our van, Vincent. Vincent is a 2009 full-length Sprinter, 7 meters long, weighs uh, 3,200 kilograms, has a 2.1 engine with a modest 516,000 kilometers, so still running strong. The consumption I actually measured in Holland we drove, it's only 8.6 liters, so it's very decent for the weight and uh, the length. It's a rear-wheel drive, it's an old delivery van, it comes from uh, Finnish Lapland, so it's rather rust-free luckily because it's from the Arctic. The van is fully electric, so we have no gas. We have the oven and the induction, everything running on electricity. So here's the garage, has a bit of everything. We have our electric scooter, stocked up on some foods. Snowboards as well, you can't see them, they're just tucked underneath. We have a water tank, 70 liters, water hose to fill it up next to it. And then of course, because we're from Finland, we have an axe. It's just part of the deal. We also have like an engine Webasto heater, so we don't use this one, we just put the engine heater on, it's a separate system and it heats up the liquid in the engine before you start. We have a, uh, a hidden floor you can't see under the laminate, it's a, I think it's 30 or 40 millimeter stick. We put wooden beams and then polyurethane sheets and foam inside of it, so the floor actually stays nice and warm even in the winter time. Here we have a last minute addition, like a tiny outside table tray that squeaks but it stores like or you can just set up like drinks or just little snacks there when you eat outside and it's easy to just put away we have like a tiny entryway filled with usually shoes here's some cooking gear some paper we use in the kitchen we have a two burner induction stove and also an electrical oven, like a mini one, underneath it. Then we have a faucet or a tap that runs hot water. Obviously we do have a fridge, it's a 55 liter one. Uh, it's not big but it's enough for the two of us. And then we have a 20 liter freezer underneath it so we can store a lot of ice cream and then we have some just cutlery and pots pans glasses everything so here's the bathroom it's about 60 centimeters deep and about a meter wide and i think it's 180 high i can fit comfortably we have a small light, we have toothbrush holders, hot water shower, there's a toilet on the bottom and then the bottom, like the floor, is made out of tiles Then we put one tile on the edge to make kind of like a pool where the water stays and the walls are, I don't even know what they actually are it's from Finland at the hardware store, special waterproof material Is it like fiberglass? Um, I think it's sort of fiberglass panels which we then just over painted and it's held water quite comfortably. Let's continue to the back side. And here we have a uh, full size bed. It's two meters long, it's 175 wide, so it's quite comfortable to sleep. We have um, double mattresses, we have a memory foam mattress and then custom built bottom mattresses, so it's about 15 centimeters thick in total. Winter blanket, of course, because you need it. And in the middle you can't see it, but there's a table. We can pick it up and make it into a quite a big U-shaped couch. Pièce de résistance, build a small pantry. It's very cozy. We'll fit all the dry gear in it. And then we just have a, uh, it's a random storage. Kind of hygiene products, sunglasses, whatever you need. Linny's clothes. And then beneath it are my clothes. And how do they hold? It has some magnets? Yeah, it's uh, strong magnets. Strong magnets that hold 
and if you don't don't drive crazy then they don't open right yeah <laughs> if i if i drive or Lini drives it's okay but we once went to the mechanic and it was like total chaos when i came back inside we have a knife magnet and a wine rack and to everyone online please do stay while driving everything stays in place with sticky pads or silicone mats during the drive here we have a wardrobe slash food pantry full-size mirror and then for some coziness with a few pictures we have a kitchen light comes on and off by touch it's also dimmable then there's real subway tiles behind is a plywood panel we just put them with zika flex on put some grout clean it up shine it up i think it looks really nice in the kitchen small basket for fruits it stays in place very good while driving it has sticky pads beneath it so down here we have the electrical setup start with a smoke alarm in case there's a fire or something goes wrong you get to hear it in advance we have a 3000 watt inverter we get enough power it's also the solar charge controller and the external ac controller all in one we have a big cable to charge while driving and a total of 520 amp hours of AGM batteries. We can go quite nicely with that. We have the uh, freshwater tank, 70 liters. And we have a small seven liter water heater. It's electrical, but it uses very little energy. It takes about uh, 10 minutes to heat it. And we put it on eco, so we heat it to 55, liter, uh, 55 degrees. And the two of us can take a hot shower with seven liters of hot water. Okay. Do you know the consumption, like how much uh, power it can consume? Yeah, it's 1500 watts. If the water is very cold, we run it for about 10 to 11 minutes. But if the water is decently warm in the freshwater tank, we only use it for 7 to 8 minutes. Then there is water pump and an accumulator to even out the pressure a bit. So in the front, we have like a 3 kilowatt diesel heater that kept us warm through the minus 30 degrees uh, Celsius Finnish winter and then we built like a um, shelf that holds books this sensor is for the smoke and the carbon monoxide so if there would be any case of fire it would hopefully wake, up, wake us up or just tell us that there's a danger we have two curtains here one of them is for making the van a little bit more privacy and also for blocking some heat uh, that we can take our on or off if we want to and then we have one sliding one that is just kind of for the looks. The cabin has three seats. We decided to leave the middle seat to have the possibility to host a friend on our trip or just take a hitchhiker. In here we, we host our yoga mats and we have some hooks for the jackets and stuff that we keep in. We have a sunshade, some charging cables for the van. And then we have our mask of Joey. Joey is a flamingo. <laughs> he travels with us everywhere we go. We bought this van in April of 2020 because in March as everyone knows COVID happens I was supposed to get a job in Kazakhstan but everything fell apart we sold a lot of our gear and for the move so we didn't really know what to do and then I think it took us about two weeks yeah. to come to the van idea and then we just looked online after a week or two we found this one we went 700 kilometers across the country Saw the van, bought it, drove home, and that's kind of how it started. We had some uh, former experience of like living in a vehicle, I would say, when we were still like on a student budget, just traveling the world or Europe mainly. We had a Kia Seed farmer car and we put the or took out the back seats to fit a mattress in and we traveled with that for almost two months around Europe and I think that's when we kind of fell in love with the lifestyle of living out of a van or a car and we really wanted to do van life for quite a long, long time but then really didn't have a 
reason to until everything crashed in 2020. Yeah, so when we got the van, we, we bought it quite quickly. We didn't have any real plans made for the van. So we moved out of the city we lived in and into my grandpa's old cottage. We had no running water, but we had electricity so we could build the van. And just slowly we started making plans. What do we want in the van? Mm. Looked up online ideas, got our few ideas of our own. We watched a lot of YouTube tutorials because we had no former experience whatsoever of building anything really. Then we just started laying out ideas. We changed the plan a lot on the way and then ended up doing a little budget because we had a budget and we wanted to get it done quickly. We looked up ideas online. We checked so many YouTube videos uh, to get any hint of what we're jumping into and then we just started building and made, made a lot of mistakes as we went but yeah, and then we figured well it's gonna be a few months and it's ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six months in we were like please can you be ready? <laughs> we moved in when it was still like a construction zone. Uh, I think we were four months into building and it was just only a bed but we decided to start living in it or out of it and yeah, we, then, lived, yeah. we lived in my grandpa's old cabin it was horrible yeah so the bed was nicer even in the construction site <laughs> yeah. and I think it took about a year to get it like really fully ready yeah it but was, like I mean it was like mostly ready after six months so yeah, yeah. but a year was like all the knickknacks and the small stuff that always Get, le always left hanging you know yeah. and then you always you know with these projects you always find out something you know new that you want to add or something so yeah it's not ready ready now even yeah. though it's, it's never ready it's never ready <laughs> yeah. it's an ongoing project there's a specific reason why you decided not to go with this gas the biggest problem for us was that there was so many restrictions in Finland. There's so, so many rules that yeah, you have to follow to make the gas car or like to have gas in your car. Uh, obviously, most of them are safety measures, but it was just uh, hard. And then we also wanted the, I think we wanted to try something new, like some um, electrical setup, because we yeah. figured maybe we could make it work. And, and, and it's worked we for find it. it's more ecological because yeah, we have solar it. panels. And then it charges while we drive, so it uses the same alternator energy. And it's always well, it's, it's extra safety not to have gas in your car, I guess. <laughs> I mean, obviously if we would have, we would have a gas alarm, but not that we don't. <laughs> yeah, we save the space of having gas bottles That's and it. stuff like that. Tomorrow marks a year of us living in a van. Yes. And so now we work remotely out of out of the van for a couple of months already, uh, traveling around Europe. And we also study. Yeah, we study full time and on, also online. So, I mean, sometimes, you know, we have meetings at the same time. Uh, someone has to be on a speaker and then, you know, someone has to go maybe to the cabin or outside, but you make it work. We have very good noise cancelling headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we get asked a lot like how do you manage together in a van and yeah. I mean we've traveled a lot all around the world we've slept at horrible places traveled to far off spots and then we lived in the car together for almost two months in my grandpa's old cabin it's like 30 square meters smells of mold no running water mm. so life is actually pretty good right now yeah I mean obviously we fight sometimes like that's also like part of life part of life but i don't know if we would fight any less living in a mansion so no. <laughs> instagram yeah i mean we wanted light colors because it's a small space so um that's why i think we went with white um i wanted to be a bit more colorful now like i'm looking at it like back to it but i mean yeah, we also like wood color. Yeah. That's why the, the table is wooden colored and then the, the table tops, the countertops. Yeah, we'd like a rustic style. I don't know if we really got that rusticy while decorating, but we can always add stuff up, I guess. Yeah. I think the in internet's the biggest inspiration. Yeah. Social and then media. <laughs> some things living on Finland you can't buy, which you see on US accounts. So we had to improvise a lot as well. And mm. 
think the layout changed like five to ten times as we went on. Put a panel here, less there, we didn't do that, did that. Must to have probably a heater living in a Finnish winter. <laughs> heater and an indoor warm shower. Yeah. And a big kitchen <laughs> and enough space to work. So like a table that can turn into a bed and bed that can turn into a table. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a must. When you live in a travel van, a bed is okay. A bed, yeah. just a bed. Yeah. But then when you live in it, you sometimes want to have a table and work from it. If you edit videos, you write texts, Get hard. It gets hard to be on the bed all day. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, just go. <laughs> we we had no experience. We uh, we definitely did just try it out before taking any advice on it. I think if we googled too much, we wouldn't have done it. Maybe. Yeah, just like do your homework, but don't stress out too much because yeah, it's all gonna work out, out on the way. Yeah. So we've been on the road now for about three months. Started in Finland, took a ferry straight to Germany. Gone about around Germany, Holland, Belgium, France, Switzerland. And we actually have a ferry ticket to Morocco in about four weeks. And we're planning to go down all the way to Senegal. We, uh, at the end of January, we're meeting some people down there. Mm. And then maybe like, you know, I think we would like to do van life for a couple of years now, but then Whenever we want to change it, I mean, we always make new other plans. We we were talking about earlier buying a, about buying a sailboat, turning that into something we could maybe cross oceans with and just have a different kind of traveling lifestyle. We like yeah. to travel, so. I've never sailed, but I love to cross the Atlantic. <laughs> Neither of us has ever <laughs> sailed. That's my dream, the <laughs> Faroe Islands, Iceland, then Greenland, mm. then to America. So we have 435 watts of solar. Um, we added an extra 150 a few months ago because we noticed it's not enough, the one. And now we're doing very okay. Finland was hard in the winter because you get like zero solar. So we stayed plugged in maybe every five to six days. And then we have an MPPT charger and 520 amp hours of battery. So we can do rather well with the driving cable plus the solar plus going to a campsite every now and then to charge the batteries. Inverter is 3000 watts, so we can at the same time use the oven and the water heater. Hope you enjoyed our van tour. Thanks for watching and if you want to follow more of our adventures, you can do that on our social media accounts, Instagram at Vanderverwald. We post regularly photos and videos. Or you can find us on YouTube at Linguini. And the same on TikTok. See you guys later. See ya. Bye.